Okay, so this is the video that I've been promising some of you, and this might actually turn out to be my last No Leopard VMware video, um, simply because I'm not sure that Apple are going to bring out a 10.6.9. Um, I don't think they're going to, which means that I'm not going to need to update it or anything. But any issues that do come up, I will still like sort out for you and just put them into a package to install or something. And okay, so because this video is completely different to the previous one, well not completely, but works in different ways to the previous videos. Um, it will actually be a bit longer and there's also several new things that are included so you need to watch all of it pretty much. So I'm sorry about the length but can't be helped. And it's pretty much the same as usual, just download the torrent link and then follow the video. So after you've extracted the file that you download from the torrent which will be um, a 7-zip file which you can extract with 7-zip. Um, you'll have these five folders. Um, no, these four folders and this one file, sorry. And you can see you have the boot ISOs, which aren't actually required for this method, but they're there just in case. So you have the Darwin Snow, which is obviously for Intel, and the Empire 85 for AMD. And those are just in case, um, for some reason, the method that we're going to use this time doesn't work, so it still gives you a way to boot into your VM. So they're not needed, but it's all, it's just good to have them there, just in case. And obviously you're going to have the VM folder, the image folder, which is there. Um, then we've also got this new thing, which I've got sorted finally, is a hardware virtualization bypasser, um, which is basically just a patch for VMware. And what it does is, for those people who got um, that you need hardware virtualization instead of software virtualization. Um, this basically gets rid of that whole thing so that it should boot. Um, it's buggy, I'm not going to lie, it's a really buggy like patch thing, but it does work. So, although it doesn't seem to run perfectly well, it actually does what it's meant to do. It just has a couple of issues saying it and stuff, but it's basically all perfectly working. So I'll show you that in a bit. And you also have the VMware Unlocker to run Mac, which is basically the system that we're going to use to run Snow Leopard from now on. And I'm going to go through that. And then on the bottom you have the port files. Um, so if I just double click this link, it's a link obviously. And it takes you to my um, one of my media file folders, which has basically every fix that I anybody asks me for or I think is useful. And they will get uploaded to this folder. And this folder will constantly be updated. So it isn't just the stuff you see now, because um, as you can see I've only got the basics and then I've only got some sound stuff. So look there if you need any kind of fixes or anything, and if they're not there then contact me and I'll look for them or make them and put them up. <clears throat> so that's just that. Right, so first things first, um, you want to go into the VMware Unlocker folder. And you want to read the README text simply because if you don't read the README text and you ask me a question that is in there, I won't answer it because it's just annoying. And you can see that we have um, instructions for every VMware that you could possibly be using. So Linux, Mac, VMware Player, VMware Workstation, etc. And then we also have some frequently asked questions. Only a few though, the ones that I seem to get a lot. And on the very bottom, whoops. You can see contact information if you need to contact me. So just read that first for instructions to make sure you know what you're doing. Um, but since I'm on Windows, I'm going to show the Windows version for VMware Workstation. And what you want to do is just open up um, a command window in that folder. And you want to run windows.bat. So if I just type windows.bat, and you can see that it runs through the unlocking process. It just unlocks several files, and if you ever get access made, which is system error 5, um, you want to go to control panel and disable user account control, um, reboot your machine and then run it again and it'll work fine. Because a lot of people seem to get that problem last time and that's how you fix it. So there you go, that's done, so we can close that. And now you don't need that patch folder anymore, that um, unlocker, for the guest. So next thing is you want to go into Mac OS X Snow Leopard and you want to double click the VMX file. And it's going to open up in VMware Workstation any second. Um, yeah, my computer is actually quite slow at the minute because it's doing several things, but um, I apologize for that. 
And right, so if you look here, you can see in the left hand side we have um, several just like notes on the virtual machine build. Um, I just put those in each time I update it so you can see what's changed and stuff. And for those people who were complaining last time, you now have a 250 gigabyte hard drive instead of just the 40 because people were complaining about lack of size, which is fair enough, so I've just extended it. So you want to go to Edit Virtual Machine Settings and you want to change the RAM for whatever you want to use. Um, I normally use just about 1.5 gig, um, but one, just one gigabyte is perfectly fine, which is what I'm on now. Um, but yeah, don't allocate too much if your machine doesn't have that much because obviously it makes you kind of lag a bit and it gets all up freezing and stuff. So be aware of that. Processors, you can sort your processors out there. Um, make sure that these two boxes are unticked. Um, hard drive, um, hard disk, sorry. Um, you can extend if you want, um, or oh, expand it, sorry. But if you ever want more space, the best thing to do is just press add and then just add a new hard drive and just create, um, for example, so if I just go create a new disk and then just add a hard drive of whatever side you want. And then in the Mac, um, all you have to do is format it to um, Mac OS Extended Journal and then you can use it. Um, the reason for that is if you have to, if you expand this hard disk here um, to say 500 gigabytes, you then have to reformat it to be able to be working the Mac. So you'd have to format the disk, which obviously then wipes the Mac installation. So just be aware of that and you don't do that. Um, for CD slash DVD, um, you just hook up either an image file that you want to use or a disk drive. So I'm just using D for now. Network, you don't want to change. It works fine unless you know what you're doing, in which case then go ahead and change it. Um, USB controllers work perfectly fine. And display, don't. I'm going to say don't change that um, for the whole 3D graphics thing. That's a bit experimental at the moment. We'll say um, there is a way to get it working, but it's a very, very, very long kind of process. And I'm making it into a package to make it work faster. But until then, just avoid using that. And that also makes reminds me that there are a couple of video issues apparently um, with Quartz Extreme video card and some graphics and stuff like that. Um, I know a way to enable that, as I've said, but it's very, very complicated, so just bear with me until I get that sorted. So avoid asking me stuff about that, since I've just kind of, you know, let's set it out that I know what I'm doing, but it'll take a while, so. And yeah, what just whilst I was on that note, um, don't ask me stuff that's been answered, please. Last time I got the same questions over and over again, and I ended up just copy-pasting the answers, because it was just that simple and the thing was it was even in comments underneath the video it's like you can just read like 10 underneath you and you'll probably see the question you're asking so um, just please do that before you like message me because I just get a load of messages and it gets on my nerves sometimes right so then to options leave that that's all sorted don't need to change that shared folders um, you can actually enable a share um, to share your actual host disk to your VM. So if I go into always enabled and press add and I just add um, for example my C drive um, let's just where is it there we go let's just share my C drive and we'll call it local disk and press next and press finish and then everything else on there you don't really need to mess about with no don't okay so then press OK and uh, now you want to press power on your machine. And you'll get a message about it being copied. Um, I might not get it at this point because I haven't actually... This is the original, so I don't think I'll get it. No, but you'll get a message there saying, I moved it or I copied it or something like that. And just press I copied it and press OK. And you can see we have a new little like boot up screen due to the patch. And it runs through. Um, the graphics resolution stuff is perfectly fine I'm going to show you in a minute I've just got mine on the default to show you how to change it so that I remember to do it and for people at that point who get the whole hardware virtualization issue um, just while that's booting up I'm going to go show you the patch so if I just go back to the patch folder um, here we go hardware virtualization um, you want to open up the patch for your system so 
just if you want to have a look at the readme, um, it explains um, how to do it and obviously contact information and everything. But since I'm on 64, I'm just going to open up the 64 bit. And you can see that um, it says um, the v uh, VMware it works with. And it says create backup. Um, I never actually create backups because I'm just cool like that. But obviously, you have to find the correct um, file. So if you press apply patch and it says file not found, which it will pretty much do that every single time. So you want to manually select the correct file. And this is the file you want to find VMware VMX.exe. So you want to go to program files. Um, let me just find it. Computer. Forum files. Um, oh wait, sorry, it's going to be in the other forum files. And then go to VMware, and in VMware Workstation, under the 64 folder, um, which obviously 32-bit users won't have, but if you look in the little window, it tells you where it is. And then you just click VMware VMX.exe and press Open. And I'm not going to do that because I don't want mine patched. Simply, um, but basically, you press Open. And if it says that the patch didn't work, the patch actually did work, so try running your machine again. But as soon as you try apply the patch, and as soon as you actually do it, even if it says there's an error, it will probably be in it, so just go try the machine again, it should work. So I'm just going to close that. So that's basically the patch. Sorry that I couldn't go through the, ho the whole way through it, but it edits, um, it edits like my files, and I don't really want to do that, because obviously mine are already sorted. Right, so back in the VM, um, you can see here, here is the shared folders. Um, so if I just open that to give you a quick look, you can see local disk, which is right there. Um, and that is my host, um, my host drive. So if I just quickly um, show you, you can see there, um, host drive is exactly the same there, and you can access it. Um, that's just useful to share files between it. Right, so now um, you want to go to system preferences. And display. Um, I've lost it completely. There it is. Display. And you can select your resolution. Um, you can have full screen mode by going up here to um, full screen, if you wish. And um, I'll just give you a look at that. And it should sort itself out in a second. Maybe not. All oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Um, you have to. If you go to full screen mode and press um, the display section, you can just enter the display. Um, resolution of your host. So if I go 1366 by 768, you can see um, that's the actual screen size. So just experiment with them until you find the correct one. And there you go, you have a full screen Mac. Um, there is no password set in the account section. So if you go to accounts, you want to set a password if you want to run sudo commands in terminal. Um, the reason for that is that people tend not to hear when I say passwords and stuff and they I don't really understand how they don't notice but there isn't one set so it's just straight away you don't have to enter one unless you're planning to run sudo commands so if you do just go to change password and just change it so that's that um, it's fully it's fully updated um, let me just check if it's not fully updated it will be when you get it um, and any combo updates that you do get if any do come out, um, you need to avoid unless I've said otherwise. And if um, if they are perfectly fine, I'll just put a little note on the video. Um, because people with AMD seem to have a couple of problems with Kex changing throughout combo updates, which is why you had errors on the last build um, after updating the 10.6.7 build to uh, 10.6.8. But I've sorted that out now. Um, I've also sorted out the USB problems that people get in after ignoring cache. Hopefully, um, big emphasis on that. All I did was replace the uh, IO USB family dot kex and the IO USB mass storage class kex from 10.6.3, I think, into the 10.6.8 build, um, which should make it work fine. Um, there you go. See, software is up to date. Um, there are possibly a couple of issues with Flash. Um, I haven't actually had any of these problems. Flash works perfectly fine for me. Um, I'd go show you now, but I don't want to bother going onto YouTube or anything. And videos work for me, but people have said in the past that they don't. In which case, just either install, reinstall QuickTime and reinstall Flash, and that should fix it. Unless you have some sort of graphics card problem, in which case, let me know if your graphics card and I'll find a Kext to support it. Um, to install Kext, um, 
I'll either link a tutorial in the video or something. Um, but I'm not going to go through it now, just because I have to set a password and everything. I have to find some kicks to install or something stupid like that. But if you have any problems, don't hesitate to contact me. But please just check that it hasn't been answered already, because for the last few days, all I've got is the same question over and over again about the uh, hardware virtualization thing. And there you go. So that ha that's sorted now. So yeah, just please read um, comments and stuff, and especially read the comments that I've put because if I've put something back, it, odds are it's going to be useful to you. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. I think that's about it. Um, oh yeah, VMware Tools is already installed. Um, and if you want to install anything for your machine, just go to that VMware, um, not VMware, go to the media file folder that I showed you in the torrent link. And if it's not there, what you need, just let me know. Um, people who've been contacting me asking for Realtek high quality audio drivers, um, I need the actual the actual model of the card, so usually it's something like ALC22 or something, something along that. There'll be like a, a few letters and a couple of numbers in the like number, and then you just got to give me that one because I can't just go off real take high quality audio because there's several types of it. So that's just something to bear in mind there. And for everybody who is actually interested, this has been done on a 64-bit Windows PC. Um, I've forgotten what PC it is actually. It's like a Toshiba Satellite L something or other. And it works on every computer I've done. And it works on 64 bit and 32 bit machines. Um, so people who've been comp saying the patch is due to, like errors with the patch is due to it being 64 bit, it's not. But you have to install in the, di in the uh, default directory. So that's something to bear in mind. And I think that's all I've got to say. Um, sorry that I've been talking so long, it's just that I'm trying not to miss anything out because this is, as, in, as I've said, this is meant to be my last video for this um, because I'm moving on to Lion. And yeah, so apart from that, anybody with any problems, um, just contact me. There's information all over the place in that folder to find out how to contact me. Um, follow me on Twitter if you need any help as, like for something major because I actually reply constantly on Twitter. I get notifications all the time. Um, subscribe to my YouTube. Um, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube. Like the videos. Comment if you have any problems. As I've said though, only if it's not been answered before. Message me if you have anything serious or any kind of queries on anything related. I mean, it doesn't have to be just on running Mac. It can be anything to do with Mac or anything you want to know. Just message me. Don't hesitate. Um, although if I'm slow to get back to you, um, I'm sorry for that, but it's just the way it is. And apart from that, that's it. I'm done, I think. Um, all I'm going to say is watch out for my next video. Request any videos that you want. Um, and yeah, other than that, hopefully Mac will work perfectly for you now. Any problems, let me know. Um, there shouldn't be anything, so there you go. Enjoy your Mac. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Bye.